world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. What's going on, baby? It is your girl, Jalissa, and I am here to give you guys a new pick a card reading. Bless. First and foremost, I want to say welcome back to all my OGs, my returning viewers. Hey, happy to see you again. And for those who are new to my channel, welcome home, love. So happy to see you here as well. How exciting. All right, so today's topic is a message from the universe just for you. All right, so what do your guardians, your guides, your angels, the universe, the divine source have to say to you here today. This is going to be a very powerful message. I feel it in my soul. And I, I felt called to give this message today. Okay. Cause I feel like everybody could use a little bit of guidance right now during this space and time. My readings are timeless. So whenever this pops up on your feed or whenever you get this alert, it is when it's for you is when it's meant for you. Now, if you're new to pick a card readings and you're not sure how this works, I display three options for you to choose from group one, you're the turtle group two, you're the tarantula group three, you're the fox. Now each group will be very different today. I am shuffling live. So I have no clue what we're going to get, but I know the messages will be powerful guys. Mm hmm. And on point is what I'm hearing, <laughs> as always. Okay, so these are the groups, the piles you can select from. When you are ready to go to your reading, timestamps will be listed in the description as well as in the comments for you to click on and go right ahead to your reading. I do want you guys to take your time, though, because I want to make sure you get the reading that's for you as they're going to be very different. And I always advise people to close their eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose, hold in the stomach. When you feel ready, out through the mouth and repeat until you feel grounded and centered in this moment. Bless. Now, I'm going to do a sound healing session that's very beneficial. And I would love for you to stick around for it. But if you don't want to, that is A-OK. -okay. But for those who want this sound healing session, it's going to be right after this quick PSA that I am going to give to the collective. Okay. So quick PSA, guys, if you don't know me, I'm Jalissa. I've been on YouTube for apparently four years now. Whoa. <laughs> blessed. I feel so, so blessed to be here and to share my gifts and to have found such a beautiful community that I could open up to speak with and share what I have been blessed with my divine gifts, bless. And I don't only read and connect with people, I also make products. Yes, I cook up candles, I also make mist, I have soaps, I have divination tools, I have crystals, I have books, I have pens, I have decks, oracle decks, tarot decks that I've created and published. Everything is available on my shop. 
My shop is listed in the description as well as in the comments for you if you want to check me out. Don't take it from me that my products are amazing. Take it from the people. I have 5,000 plus five-star reviews. Bless. <laughs> Thank you guys for leaving me those reviews, by the way, um, on my shop that you can review and just hear the testimonies from my clients, my family members. Uh-huh. And then um, what else? I also have services right now. So if anybody wants to connect with me, I have a five minute and a 10 minute audio reading style. This is via email. This is a recorded reading that I send to you. So your email directly and you could keep it forever. And so it's very simple, very affordable. Right now, everything is 30% off, not just my products, but also my services. So guys, take advantage. All the links to my shop and my services is listed in the description as well as in the comments and if you didn't know i hold a monthly raffle where i give away a box full of goodies to one lucky winner every month and that could be you all you have to do is subscribe hit the bell button and comment on at least one video per month and you are in it to win it winners are announced on the community board and i also tag the winners so if by some chance or reason you forget to look at the community board you should get that tag or that notification from me that you are the winner. Okay, so good luck to everybody. The winner for November has yet to be announced, and I need to announce that today. All right, so depending when this goes up, it's already posted or it's being posted. Good luck, guys. And um, anything else? That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for being here. Now let's get into this sound healing session. I am going to use my 256 sound fork and my, two, and my 512 hertz sound fork to remove any debris or blockages around your root chakra and your heart chakra. First, we're going to hit the 256 hertz sound fork to remove any debris or blocks around the root chakra. Holy Spirit, please assist me in removing any debris or blocks around the collective's root chakra. Thank you. Less. All right, let's go to our 512 hertz sound fork. This one is going to remove any debris or blockages around the heart chakra. Bless. All right, guys, thank you so much for sitting through that. Also, thank yourself. All right, that was very beneficial. Now, let's get it. Let's go, guys. Group one, group two, group three. I will find you at your reading. Bless. Hello there. What's up, group one? It is your pile. <laughs> it is your reading with the turtle here. Let's connect. <laughs> Less. I don't know why all my fishes are hiding right now. It's very interesting. Okay, this is my protection mist. My protection mist that I use prior to every reading so that we have an extra layer of protection while we're here. No interferences. Okay, one of my fishies came out. All right, so there's something about hiding. Maybe you've been in hiding group one or you hiding something. All right, it's time to come out. Okay, it's time to reappear on the scene i'm hearing i miss you i'm i'm seeing um what's his name soldier boy that 
song he made with the phone, Kiss Me Through the Phone. And I miss ya. I really, really miss ya. Kiss me through the phone. All right, so I don't know. That's a message for somebody out here. All right, so what's the whole... <laughs> Holy Spirit, what is the angel number for group one? Thank you. 872. All right, 872 is your angel number. When you have a chance, go to your search engine, put 872, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from Spirit. Blaze. So what is that giving us? Uh-huh, 17, which is then 8. All right, so... The number eight is here. So some of you guys can have the life path number eight. Some of you guys can have Scorpio in your chart. Um, the August could have been significant, okay? But with the eight coming out, it's giving ebbs and flows. All right, what goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. I'm getting like a boomerang effect. All right, so something, like you put something out to the universe and something's coming back to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a very spiritual feeling behind this. Like you praying for something, you manifesting something, you asking for something, and um, you put it out there to the universe and it's coming back to you. I'm hearing in tenfolds. All right. So there's a blessing coming, sweetheart. Bless. And I'm getting like with you guys, Harry Potter, Hocus Pocus, Sabrina the Teenage Witch type of energy confirmation on my watch. All right. Yeah. I'm getting that vibe with you guys. You guys are divine beings having a human experience. Um, you guys could be very secretive and mysterious is what I'm getting. There's a lot to you, a lot of layers to you. People find you to be very mysterious. Maybe with the hiding energy with my fish, um, people feel like you're hiding something or like you're holding something back. You're not sharing something. I'm getting the color red. It could be significant. That would be the root chakra. So, um... I'm getting people in fear of what you're hiding, okay, or or what you know. With the turtle here, that's your energy. All right, so that's water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So y'all can have water in y'all chart too. Um, a turtle could be significant. You're going to see a turtle after this reading. Okay, it says ancient soul, grounded, trusting, at home in the self. It is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. So earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and water is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there's a blend going on here. The water feeds the earth, and then the earth births what we have here, land, fruits, veggies, etc., life in a sense okay so you have strong earth and water um signs in your chart this helps to ground and connect them to the deeper truths of life no matter where their travels lead them turtle energy behind all great turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use the most potent turtle energy helps us close all of the other books and begin to tell our own true tale all right so i'm getting that so the shell first of all i'm seeing something i'm seeing one of my friends um he went to some sort of like excursion where you were able to like um learn certain things about animals and there was a big shell of a tortoise and the tortoise had passed away so sad but they used the tortoise shell as an example for people like to to get into it and see how heavy it is to actually move these shells so turtles are very strong because their shells are very heavy and these shells are for protection right you're an ancient soul. You have an old soul. Group one is what the universe wants you to know. And also, you have collected a lot of wisdom through trials and tribulations, through experiences. And so what the turtle is telling you here today is that, for one, it's time to come out of your shell. You have collected enough wisdom to feel safe in your experience, your journey at this time. And also, what I'm getting is time to like close out an old book. So... Here it spoke about like travels. So I'm getting some of you guys traveling or maybe even changing sceneries, whether that's for vacation vibes, you know, um, recreational use or whatever, or this is you um, changing sceneries, like moving, take it how it resonates. But I do see you traveling, you're moving forward and you're taking all this wisdom with you. And it may be heavy because I'm getting a lot with the shell, but it benefits you in the future because it says here even 
first of all, some of you guys could be writer, influencers, speakers, storytellers, um, directors. But it says here, um, turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use. All right. So maybe you're asking yourself, or maybe some of you guys ask yourself like, man, I know they say that source gives us biggest battles to his strongest soldiers but man why did i have to or why do i have to continuously be going through these battles it's going to serve you in the future everything that you're learning everything that you've gone through it has a purpose it's not by just coincidence or by just like fate like oh you're you're fated for bumps in the road you're fated for trials and tribulations you're fated to experience so much trauma no you're meant to go through that because it's going to serve you as you go to where you're about to head right now because I'm getting you going somewhere. As you can see, the turtle is swimming. And so the turtle can be in the water. It could swim in the water. It could be inside of a tank. It could be in a lake, but it could also be on land. So there's duality, especially when it comes to you and it's giving that ebb and flow. All right. So I'm getting you've been in the water. Water is emotion for quite some time. And now you're coming to land where you're getting grounded and you're touching back with your roots mother nature mm, confirmation strong message all right so let's get it let's go let's see what your angels your guides the universe brought you here for today what aside from this message which was beautiful um what else do you need to hear all right Holy Spirit, talk to me. There's something about a, like a right foot. For some of you guys, you may be experiencing um, pain or something with a right foot. Or maybe you injured a right foot. That's for somebody, not everybody. All right, so Holy Spirit, talk to me. You know what I'm also seeing? Target could be significant. You know what I'm also seeing? Um, I just saw like a video. I think it was yesterday. It was from. It was like a, a Florida joke, real meme or whatever. Um, real. And it was about a turtle somehow flew into a man's, like, um, windshield. And it flew through the windshield. And it still survived, um, which shocked the man. But in, in the video, the caption was, um, driving in Florida. <laughs> you know, so Florida could be significant. Um, but, yeah, so there's something about, oof, a journey. And we have Duff here, with it, which is Scorpio number eight. And here is 13, which is then four. So I'm getting your stability changing drastically. But yeah, so the whole point of that video was like, you know, this is the wildlife in Florida. And driving in Florida, you know, you could literally bump into a turtle. And the turtle could fly into your windshield, which i never seen. And I live in Florida. I mean, as of, yeah, <laughs> blessed. Um, but the turtle was alive, thank goodness. I, I watched the video to see if it survived, and it did. So maybe you went through some sort of windshield, all right, an accident, a big bump in the road, technically, where you were shocked. You landed in a vehicle, a foreign vehicle, because you could imagine what turtles think of our vehicles. We're like aliens to them, right? So you could have gone through something very paranormal, and you went through it. It, it was difficult. It was scary, but you survived is what I'm getting. All right. We have the wheel of fortune. Wow. Yo, did you see that? All right. Is that not a vehicle? And you, you see, we live right here. This is why I did this reading live. Cause I feel like this message needs to hit home. All right. And it does hit home either way when I pre-shuffle, but is there's a difference with, when I shuffle live. But anyway, the wheel of fortune. Okay. So I'm getting Sagittarius, Scorpio, destiny, fate is here. And with the urn, for some of you guys, you could have lost somebody. My condolences. I'm so sorry. But for some of you guys, that, that could have been the wheel, the wheel, the wheelchair. That could have been the wheel. <laughs> the windshield moment for you, all right, where something shattered you. And this could be the ending of a relationship, the ending of um, a life, unfortunately, whether that's a person or a familiar, you know, a fur baby. You know, there, there's something significant here that you go through. And I'm getting with the, ho there's a horse here in the x-ray. You can see that? And it's a unicorn, all right? So at heart, group one, you're a unicorn, and I'm getting you changing. I'm getting like something like a cycle ending, a lifestyle change, you changing forever after some sort of windshield event, accident. 
but it wasn't an accident because we have the wheel of fortune here. It was destined. Okay. So maybe a, a road was blocked an opportunity was blocked, or maybe you felt because of losing someone or losing something, you're, you couldn't keep going, you know, you were rerouted somewhere else, or you were like basically disturbed on your path. Like, Oh, I didn't see that coming. Something unexpected, you know, but this was a divine intervention is what I'm getting. Okay. That road work, that bump in the road, that construction was there on purpose so that you could take a different route because you were meant for a different path, a different destiny. Okay. So I'm getting you going through something very deep, you know, very painful. All right. When the, but when the caterpillar turns into a butterfly, it has to turn into goo before it turns into the butterfly. That must be like, I don't know if it's painful or not, but that must be like a very, like, you know, difficult transition. So I'm getting you going through something very difficult, but it benefits you. Yeah. We have the devil, man. You have all major arcanas Capricorn coming out here too. All right. So yeah, there's something here about like low vibrational energies, possibly a bad person, a bad habit or, um, an interference. Like the devil chains you basically to either a vice chains you possibly to the 3d. Um, this is reputation, money, vices, um, a relationship an addiction an obsession confirmation on my phone. Okay. So I'm getting this is why there was a detour. This is why there was some sort of change or like um, divine intervention in your life. Mm -hmm. We have the two of wands. I'm getting you at the fork of the road. Okay, honey. I'm getting you going through like a battle here. It's coming off to me like a spiritual battle, but it leads you to a new path. I do see that. All right. And this could be like a travel, like you're literally getting ready to travel. Like I said, I mentioned that earlier. And look, this person got a map over here, adventures away, okay? Like it, this person's about to go on some sort of um, excursions, traveling, all that. And the, the two of one speaks about somebody at the fork of the road being presented with two options, what you're going to do, all right? So I'm getting, and then the devil's looking at the two, one, the two of wands, like somebody's obsessed with your journey, obsessed with where you're going, what you're doing, some sort of trip or change in your life, okay? There's no need to fear honey, please. All right. Just don't fear that. I'm just getting someone's obsessed with your journey. And so if you felt that way, that was your confirmation. All right. But I do see you at the fork of the road. I do see you making plans. So some of you guys are going on like a short trip or some of you guys are literally making a change of scenery. All right. And then we have the three of wands. Yup. You packing your bags. Do you see that? I hope like the camera's giving justice. You see them luggages? Yeah. You're getting ready to pack things up. Whether that's long term, long term or short term, you are, you're getting ready to pack things up. I'm getting you planning something and then I'm getting you manifesting it and I'm getting you marking your calendar. Like, all right, I'm ready to like pack shit up. I'm ready to go. Um, let's clarify this. Clarify death for me. We have the nine of pentacles dag. That's a nice energy right there. Wow. That's really pretty. Jewelry could be significant. Somebody could be a jeweler. All right. So what's changing in regards to your path and what your angels want you to know is that your stability is changing. And oh my gosh, we have a butterfly there. You see that? It's like a brooch or something, or maybe a hairpiece, but I'm getting a big change. Death is the butterfly. And then we have a butterfly in the nine of pentacles. So your finances are changing tremendously. It's like you change. So your stability can change. This change needed to happen in order for you to step into this nine of pentacles energy, which is a very independent energy. This is a very wealthy energy. This is a very comfortable energy where this comes after the eight of pentacles, where someone has basically focused so much on an endeavor, a project, or focused so much on building something. And then after the eight of pentacles comes the nine of pentacles where things have flourished. Like you put in so much hard work. Now you can sit back and relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy the luxuries of life. All right. So I'm getting that's the change that's happening. So if you guys have been accustomed or you know, used to the hustle and the bustle, I'm getting the change that's coming in is that your life is being alleviated as more money is coming in for you. All right. The nine of pentacles also talks about entrepreneurship side hustles. The, it talks about basically like you getting to the bag, you getting money, whether that's 
through nine to five or through entrepreneurship, but you feeling so secured with your finances that you basically get to put your feet up. That's a major change that's happening for you, group one. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. We have here Justice. Wow. Libra. More major arcana. All right. So judgment has been served. Okay. And with the Wheel of Fortune and Justice, it's two cards and it's like one after the other, 10 and 11, right? So it's giving that this divine intervention is your justice. You not being able to move forward in a situation or being rerouted or, you know, having to like replan things for yourself, th this was a blessing, all right? And at times we can't see it right away, right? Because it feels like um, an inconvenience. It feels like we're like being kind of punished by the universe. Like, man, I didn't get to open up that door. Or man, like I had to change my plans, my life. Everything just crumbled. Everything just changed. And at the moment it feels like bad luck. But then later on when you understand the assignment and why things were blocked or why you were rerouted on a different road you know you understand that it was due to a blessing oh guys give me one second is very important <laughs> awesome sauce all right so that was a phone call that i got i'm my this is like a vehicle thing very interesting because you have a vehicle here and i asked for a favor and they actually were like we don't usually do a favor for that type of distance blah blah but he made it happen for me. And so I'm going to be able to do what I wanted to do without having to spend money. So, you know, it all worked itself out, even though I was ready for plan B, if not, you know, to not give too much details. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's a confirmation in itself because that call came in while I was with you where he, I was basically approved for that opportunity to, um, you know, not have to worry about other things. So I'm getting an approval here, but anywho, with the Wheel of Fortune and Justice, I'm getting, you know, justice is karma. Justice is um, legal systems, too. So if some, so if there's a legal system, a, a legal matter going on, this could be your confirmation, but I usually don't talk about that. But anyway, um, justice speaks about fairness. It speaks about partnership. All right, so I'm getting the universe moving things around that may have been inconvenient for you with a car or with your journey, and this is actually actually a huge blessing for you with justice being here all right this is your justice your good karma for the past efforts or the past actions that you have basically done clarify the devil why is the devil here we have the three of pentacles all right so there's a bit of an obsession with work all right so i'm getting like hold up let me see clarify this two of wands we we have the queen of swords here i do energy not sex all right so that's gemini libra aquarius clarify this three of wands we have the queen of pentacles hmm okay all right back of the deck we have the ace of cups <laughs> okay so the universe that's a sound bowl too by the way somebody could do art somebody could be into sound healing or you're getting sound healing i mean i did it in the intro if you missed it go check it out very beneficial stuff okay so what i'm getting here is that nice nice okay so i'm getting that there's been like a little bit of an obsession with work okay like maybe you're like worried um Recently, maybe you've been worried about like getting public recognition, getting recognized, being acknowledged, you know, or um, maybe there was a worry or there's been worry about collaborations, working with other people. I'm getting like somebody also like obsessed with whatever it is you do. Like I can't help not seeing that. Like there is someone out here that's obsessed with like what you do for a living, all right? So whatever it is you do for a living, like someone's obsessing over that, like your profession, your go your like goals, um, your gift, your talent, your work ethic. But I do see that you have, like you're gonna have this laser focus when it comes to work. Like that's your priority for what I can see moving forward. Like everything is work, 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 okay? Because you're trying to build something. You're trying to grow something. I'm getting that energy has been basically programmed into you because of what I said, the eight of pentacles is before the nine of pentacles where you have been laser focused with building something, perfecting something, working on something so you could get this alleviation with your finances. And so maybe you're gonna have a 
little bit of a difficulty detaching from that energy of needing to like overwork or needing to like be overly focused on the coin. It, you know, sometimes it takes a minute for us to adjust to a new reality. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, this is your faith, your destiny changing. So there is no need to obsess when it comes to like public recognition, when it comes to being acknowledged, when it comes to your work ethic, when it comes to you working with others. There is no need for that. Just keep that in mind is what your angels are saying. Don't get so obsessed with work and money that it consumes you and you don't see other things. Okay. That's, that's one message, but I'm also getting another message that there is someone out here that is, um, obsessing over whatever it is you do. Cause I'm getting, you're very good at what you do. Um, you're very passionate about what it is that you do, but I see you at the fork of the road here. And I see you making plans. Like you're making head over heart decisions. You're thinking about your future. You're thinking about like, yeah, cause the devil's looking at the two of wands is like, you're fighting with yourself. Like, you know what? I need time to travel. I need time to do me. I need time to like, you know, connect and socialize and do recreational things so that I could be more creative because the more you travel for what I can see group one, the more you are seasoned in a sense, the more, um, culture you bring to whatever it is you do. Okay. And so I'm seeing you making a head over heart decision. Like, you know what? I'm not going to obsess over work. I'm not going to obsess over money. Like I'm going to actually take a trip or I'm actually going to make some plans to alleviate my circumstances. All right. So it's like, you're having a me versus me moment. And with the three of wands, the queen of pentacles here, I see you way more grounded where I see you at this point, like you're way more up in your head, in your thoughts about things, especially with the devil being here where you may be consumed with the idea of like work and blah, blah, blah. And so um, I'm getting you taking a trip or you making some sort of change with your scenery in order to alleviate yourself of that stress or that overwhelming energy. Um, some of you guys may use work as an outlet to like distract yourself from life itself maybe because of this death, this change that you have made, this is a death of the ego where a part of you has died for a new part to reemerge. All right. So, um, that could be connected like where, when you were going through this transition or as you're going through this transition, you may use work as an outlet or making money as an outlet to like distract your mind from that. Like, man, I don't want to think about that loss. I don't want to think about, I don't want to grieve. I don't want to, I don't want to feel guilt. I don't want to feel shame. So let me just focus on this bag, focus on this work, focus on this so that I don't focus on that, you know, but I see your wishes coming true here with the three of wands. Cause the two goes to the three. So there's progress. So what your angels want you to know is that get ready. Cause there's an adventure up ahead. Like it's as if you're writing something. Some of you guys could be writing a book or you're just writing in your journal or you're just like, um, like writing. Okay. Maybe you're, you're organizing a calendar or something, but I'm getting you mentally preparing yourself for an adventure. Like you need this trip, you need this time off and you packing up your bags over here. And I see you in this energy, like when you're getting ready to go on this trip or go on this plan that you have here that you're, um, you know, creating for yourself. I see you in this grounded energy where, I see you over here when you're planning more in your head mentally, like your thoughts may be con consuming you. You're in this cold energy where you don't feel um, kind of like you're grounded, you're present. You feel more so like you have a lot going up, up upstairs, like your mind is overly stimulated. And then when you're getting ready to go on this trip and or, you know, getting ready to go on this adventure, I see you in this grounded energy. You're going to have resources. You're going to have money. If that was a concern, I do see that you're going to feel yourself. You're going to feel good. You could be going to see a mom. You could be going to see a friend, a mother figure, a cousin, um, whoever, like there, there's like this person you're going to see, or you're going to be connecting with too. And I'm getting like clothes, like you picking out clothes or you thinking about what you're going to wear. Like that's going to be like the only stress I see <laughs> with the Ace of Cups here. There is a lovely gift coming in from the universe just for you, group one. All right. You're being gifted. You're being blessed with so much love, with like an abundance of care. So if you've been feeling lonely or you've been feeling like, you know, you're lacking love, especially with this air energy over here where you've been in your head and you haven't been in your heart, your emotions, I'm getting, that's why the universe is opening up this door with the Ace of Cups where you're going to be receiving so much love. You're going to be receiving so much admiration, um, 
so much care like it's giving me such a warm energy and it's very beautiful let's go a little deeper before we go into your charms all right all right so tell me more about what's coming what's going what's happening what is it that group one needs to hear right now thank you so much all right, we have Mercury in the eighth house. And we were talking about that eighth house energy, Scorpio. All right, we have Sun in the eleventh house, Aquarius. Okay, one more. We have Mars in the third house, Gemini. Back of the deck, we got Saturn in the second house, Taurus. All right, so I'm getting like what's changing drastically for you guys, group one, is your finances. All right, with Saturn being in the second house over here, this is standing out very strong to me. This is you learning a lesson about your self worth. All right, maybe before you didn't put yourself at the top of the pedestal, maybe before you didn't set the bar high, you were letting people get away or you were letting people um, pay whatever they felt like they needed to pay. But now, you know, to be around your presence or to be to, or to be connected with you. But now there's this energy of like you're setting the price, like the price is the price. There is no discounts. There is no promotion. All right. It's here. If you want it, pay. If you don't, you know, find another store, find another person that will be willing to accept your crumbs or your pennies or whatever that is, whatever that may be for you, group one. But there is some sort of insecurities when it comes to abundance, when it comes to your self-worth. There is a lack mentality. So this is basically like one telling themselves, you don't deserve that car. You don't deserve that house. You won't be able to get that job. You'll never be able to, you know, overcome these financial obstacles. That's changing, okay? Okay. Um, that that feeling of having like a shaky foundation you don't know whether you're coming or you're going or you're going to be able to like pay something or resolve a financial matter i'm getting like a lot of you guys went through like something as a child maybe your parents or someone couldn't give you something um maybe there was some sort of poverty or lack as a child and so um that has followed you into adulthood where you may feel like okay well i come from this class or i come from this status or i came from this type of home where i wasn't given these things so like there's guilt when as an adult you're receiving certain things that you didn't get or you didn't see yourself receiving as an adult so there's a fear right now group one when it comes to loss and that fear needs to go out the window today okay that's what your angels are saying it needs to go because that fear is only creating what you're fearing and that's the trick and that's that devil energy you know so the devil creates facades, right? The devil creates illusions and the devil will make you believe something that isn't really true. And that's a very low vibrational energy, right? And our mind plays tricks on us. So there's a fear of loss. Therefore, we create loss because what we think about, we manifest, right? So your angels are saying, you need to believe that you are enough and you need to dream big because you are enough and you will reach those big dreams, but you need to believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you, right? You have creative potential and you have the power to manifest. And so it's very important group one for you to keep those thoughts high vibrational and keep them on what you want versus what you don't have and what you need to like resolve. All right. Things will fall into place. You need to have faith with Mercury in the eighth house, sun in the 11th house and Mars in the third house. I'm getting like yeah, people seeing you as like very mysterious, like, hmm, what is group one cooking up? Like, does group one have like some sort of mysterious agenda? All right. Or does this person have a mysterious agenda? That and the third, I'm getting you very like curious about certain people. I'm getting you like investigating people or like analyzing people. You're very attentive and I'm getting like you penetrating people's minds with your words or with your questions. Like you're able to pull things out of people without them knowing you have this supernatural insight and I'm getting gossip. So there's something about you hearing something or you getting a whiff of some sort of gossip that piques your interest. And then I see you very impulsively, like trying to figure something out. And, um, I feel like you do figure it out as you're a great researcher, <laughs> right? Maybe you're, you work for the FBI or, or maybe you're in law enforcement or if not, you will be great at it because <laughs> you're a master at discovering secrets of other people. And um, so I'm getting some sort of secrets being uncovered, like you're uncovering people's secrets. So maybe you do something along these lines or you're working with something here where you're investigating something and you're going to find out the truth. Um, I'm getting you connected with the collective and you're a very nice 
sweet person. You treat people how you want to be treated. And as the turtle, you've gone through a lot of um, mistreatment. You've gone through a lot of unfair situations that you shouldn't have, but it served as wisdom. So at the end of the day, when you're older or down the line, you're going to be able to use that information, that wisdom to your benefit. So it was actually a gift in disguise as bad luck or bad situation. But you treat people equal. You treat people how you want to be treated. And because of that, that's why the universe is pouring into you. All right. Um, we are going into Aquarius and then we have the sun in Aquarius here. So that's basically letting me know you're going to shine when it comes to like a community. This could be your society. This could be online. This could be with your family, your friends, with a corporation. Um, I'm getting you shining amongst a lot of people. OK, and you're going to identify as that you're connected to the collective. And I'm getting friendships being very important moving forward, like you valuing friendships over love. Like, okay, yeah, you know, maybe because love may have came and went, or maybe love hasn't been as stable as you wanted it to be. So I see you valuing your friendships over love moving forward too. Keep that in mind. I see you being a bit of a rebel here, a bit unbiased, okay? But I see that you have a strong point. You have something to prove. So there's going to be some sort of, especially with this mystery agenda and you uncovering some sort of secrets, I'm getting like, um, Mars is a very combative planet and it's in the third house here. So I'm getting like communication and I'm getting you like rocking the house or I don't know what you're saying, but you're definitely like proving a point because you're very blunt. You're very opinionated. You guys could be writers or publishers and it's crazy because the turtle is all right. You come off somewhat as a know-it-all to people. And sometimes you hurt people with your words, but you're blunt and maybe to your, um, defense, you know, you're just keeping it real. <laughs> all right. So be careful with that. But I do see you're very talented with your hands too. So there's going to be some sort of passionate debate that you're going to involve yourself with. And people are just going to be shocked. Like what group one said that group one did that. And you're very witty. So I'm getting you catching people by surprise. Like I'm getting people like, ah. Oh. and with Aquarius here, I'm getting a lot of people finding out about something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to your charms. <laughs> so your message, your lesson with Saturn in the second house, Taurus, is to have more confidence. Okay. Believe in yourself. Do not let fear consume your mind because fear is an illusion. The mind is powerful. And if you let the mind play with you to believe something that's confirmation, not true, it will consume you and you will manifest what you don't want to manifest, which is those fears. Okay. So whenever those thoughts come in, which they will just kick them to the side, you know, distract yourself with something else or like start thinking about something else, start daydreaming, you know, just shift the energy. Now I'm going to do an extended for those who are interested and it's optional. It's super affordable. It's on you, boo boo. Okay. So Holy Spirit, talk to me. What is the extended going to be about for group one? All right. We have that double energy coming out. Okay. Capricorn. Damn, that devil's obsessed with you. All right. We have the ten of swords. Bless. Okay. So that's a dead end situation. Like, I don't know who this is that's obsessed with your work, obsessed with what you do, obsessed with your talents, obsessed with you. Like, there's somebody out here that's, like, obsessed. This is like a fatal attraction or something. Um, With the ten of swords, I'm getting an end to that. Okay. That's coming to a close, all right? There's an ending. I'm getting a tattoo. Somebody could have got a tattoo or a tattoo could be significant or an artist. But I'm getting an end to that situation with that person, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's like a protest, a boycott or something like that. You could be like protesting or standing up for yourself or standing up for others. But I'm getting a fight here. And it's verbal. It's the swords. It's communication. All right. So I'm getting quick communication. So you could be finding out about this ending very quickly and or um, you're fighting in regards to like you ending something here. But I'm getting you standing up. Let me see. Tell me more. Somebody got tattoos on their arms. All right. We have the page of Pentacles. There's new money coming in. I'm getting you studying something new or you starting something new. Uh huh. One more. And the eight of swords, it may scare you like doing something new. I'm getting new money here. And that may scare you like to start over or to start something new. 
We have the Knight of Cups. All right, so I'm getting like a lot of movement here, okay? There's some sort of fear when it comes to a new work or a new project, all right? Maybe that maybe you are, because I saw you collaborating, so maybe you work alone or, you know, you're not used to working with certain people. Um, maybe you're scared to like do something new because you don't know what the results are going to be, but I'm getting, it comes in, like I'm getting this obsession, this like low vibrational energy comes to a close. I'm getting you standing your grounds and then that's when this opportunity comes in. So I feel like it's fated for you to do this, okay? There's multiple opportunities coming in. And I'm getting into the next couple of weeks, like a couple of days, couple of weeks. I see you up in your head. You be in your head a lot, all right? So I see you up in your head thinking about, man, am I going to be able to do this? Man, am I good for this? Is it going to go well for me? I'm getting, like, someone here coming towards you, too, with some sort of gesture, um, proposal, uh, opportunity. A dog could be significant, okay? A veterinarian, a book. Like someone could be starting a book or starting something online or something, but I'm getting new money coming in and you're going to be scared of it, but I'm getting like healing over here. Like this, someone comes in to help you when it comes to this eight of swords energy, your mind, like someone comes in and alleviates your mind of this pressure about this new financial opportunity. It's a gift. All right. I'm seeing you as a student. Yeah, so we're going to get into this. What's this boycott in regards to the devil? What, what's this ending all about? Like, what do you need to know about that? So I'm getting this. This energy has been following you or has been attached to you. That's coming to a close. Bless. And this is opening up. So, you know, as we remove things, we need to replace them with something. So I'm getting this new project, this new job, this new money making opportunity is being the is going to be the replacement of this energy over here, which is very low vibrational. Um, and it's healing. It's not just beneficial financially. All right. So let's go into your charm. So this is the extended. It's super affordable. Link will be in the description as well as in the comments. All right. So spirit, talk to me. What's the charms for a grid one? All right, what are the initials for group one? As you can see, my fishes all came out now. As you can see, they're all out here now. So I'm, I do see like a shift, like you're coming out of your shell. Okay, whatever that is, whether that's in regards to your talent, physically, mentally, I see you coming out that shell. Okay, so first, middle, last initial, this could be yours or somebody else's. We have GSI, A, AI could be significant. M V M Y V B T S S O J N O N V somebody N V New York N Y K G M N B X the Bronx L O Z H H X All right, let's go over here. So what we got, we got the two of cups. I'm getting a partnership. Yeah, like I'm getting like there's a partnership that is destined to come together, whether that's friendship or love. But I do see it here, like a soul contract. And we have the five of cups here. Yeah, I feel like that's this energy I'm getting over here with the knight of cups. Like someone's coming in in the next couple of weeks and this person is going to help you to get past a past situation. Because the five of cups is someone like registering a situation from the past, like accepting a situation for what it was and moving forward moving on healing and understanding that there's more ahead because the guy in the card he has two cups behind him but he can't see it because he's focusing on the three cups that fell all right so i'm getting you not focusing on a past situation anymore and focusing on a partnership with the two of cups here and the two of cups here okay and then we have the ace of wands yeah so i'm getting a project or a spark here that is definitely going to be like inevitable like you're gonna notice it you're gonna feel it it's just really gonna like spark you up it's giving inspiration it, whoever this is they they're gonna inspire you they're gonna help you and so like i said that could be a friend and or a romantic partner so yeah it resonates all right we have 45 i'll know more in the extended we have 45 so that could be significant for some of y'all and then we have here what is it, the seven of wands 
and it came out okay it came out in reverse all right so i'm getting you dropping your guards all right maybe you had your guards up maybe you felt very defensive you know because people came against you or you felt like people were um i'm getting you bringing your your gates down i'm getting you bringing your guards down um like you feeling more like a little bit of vulnerability and i don't see this as a bad thing i see it as a good thing all right we have cook here so you're being guided to cook your meals cook more wash your clothes <laughs> sweep the floor if you have to all right, buy some veggies, eat more. Um, you know, I saw a video today and it was about basically a person talking about being a chosen one and how, you know, in the books, in the scribes, it talks about diet and how eating foods that are made by Mother Earth is so high vibrational because it's grown with the sun and the sun is a source, is an energy. So if you're eating an apple that was obviously grown by Mother Earth and was fed so much vitamin D, that's going to be so high vibrational for your field versus eating nuggets from Burger King or whatever from anywhere, right? So you're being guided to eat more earthly foods <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> do absolutely nothing and eat foods. Yeah, just do your, your home stuff. All right, wash your dishes, sweep your floor, do your laundry, <laughs> all that good jazz. All right, so I see you happy over here. Like, you're, you're going to be in this blissful energy. Maybe some of you guys, like, tilt your head when you're happy, kind of like a little kid. All right, you have a money bag coming in for you, and your ancestors are here, all right, with this tree. It's giving, like, a money tree, okay? So your ancestors are helping you get to the bag, helping you get this money. And we have here things to remember. Tomorrow is a new day. Making mistakes is part of life. Saying no is okay. Not everyone has to like you. Beauty and strength comes from within. All right? You may want to screenshot that. Things to remember. Okay? Remember that. Yeah, I see you counting your money, maybe a little concern, feeling like you made a mistake with an investment or something. I see you, like, cutting up a contract. This may make you emotional or this made you emotional, but you're very creative. So I see you finding like a creative outlet to overcome this financial situation. Mm -hmm. And with Ghostbusters, who you going to call? Ghostbusters. Some of you guys may feel like you have a ghost in your house or a spirit around you, especially with this devil coming out so much. All right, get yourself some holy water, okay? Whatever you believe in, get yourself some holy water. Holy water your doors, okay? Pray over your house. Pray over your family. Pray over yourself. You know, keep things that you may feel, depending on what you subscribe to, will keep you protected late at night or during your sleep or just in general. All right. Make sure you're walking with source and you're staying prayed up. Some of you guys may may be mediums. You see spirits. All right. So um, if that's the case, then I'm getting that's going to amplify. All right. But I'm getting, you know, Ghostbusters get rid of the ghost. <laughs> we have pear juice here. So there's nothing, nothing to be scared of. All right. And then we have chia seed drink. Okay. Somebody may be drinking chia seeds. We have soccer, volleyball. We have strong is beautiful. So that's your second message about being strong. And then we have sleeping beauty regardless of sex. All right. You've been in some sort of slumber. It's time to wake up. And that's what I'm getting. You waking up after this change. And then we have lunchables. So I'm getting lunch being significant, what you eat for lunch, maybe what you give your kids. I saw a bad video about Lunchables. So if you're giving your kids Lunchables, stop. Okay. You do what you want. But I, I, I saw a video that wasn't really pleasant. And as a parent, I don't buy these anymore. Um, yeah. It's giving don't eat processed food. All right, group one. <laughs> Let's see what your advice is. Before we go to your juicy ass extended. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the advice for group one? All right, they flipped. Okay, we have the street signs that say lie and truth. Use discernment. See things for what they are, not for what you want them to be. Mm. Again, cook more. Reduce the urge to eat out and cook more meals at home. Yeah, you're really being pushed to like focus on your diet, eat more healthier things. The colors you wear. Use color magic by wearing colors that attract the things you want. All right, so 
maybe you rock a certain color a lot and you could look it up like color magic or like what colors define what you know if you want to attract money that would be green if you want to attract like friendships or love that would be pink or red you know black is the color you wear to mourn i love black but hey it is <laughs> what it is all right um so yeah make sure that you're using color magic when you're putting your outfits together a rare gem you are a rare breed don't waste your energy trying to convince anyone of it they're not supposed to understand you if somebody doesn't see that you a diamond that's their problem not yours all right and diamonds like my message over here you're a diamond nothing can break you point blank period not even somebody's opinion or judgment of you fuck the opinion okay bless <laughs> all right group one i'm going off to the extended where you can meet me for this juicy reading and i hope to see you there but if not thank you so much for being here with me today if you haven't already do subscribe hit that bell button guys who are already subscribed make sure to leave me a comment and those who aren't too let me know how you guys felt about this reading here today and what else you would like to see i'm sending you guys love lights and everything nice Mwah. This is blessed. If you need any protection products, check out my shop. Bless. Hello there. How are you doing, group two? If you chose the tarantula, then you're at your reading. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to spray my protection mist, and I use this prior to every reading, so that way we have a layer of protection. Now let's check in. bless and let's get your angel number holy spirit please come through and help me channel this message here today for the beautiful group two bless what is the angel number for group two 279 279 is your angel number sweetheart when you have a chance Go to your search engine, put in 279, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. All right, so that is giving us one second, 18, which is then nine. All right, so Sagittarius could be significant. Some of you guys could have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, The number nine, September could be of significance, like something could have happened in the month of September, a highlight. Um, something significant yeah all right so let's get into this so i'm getting um you guys are my adventures my pioneers um i'm getting like an adventure up ahead for you like you exploring so i'm getting something new because whatever you're exploring is new territory so this could be a new place or this could just be something new entirely hold up a second my candle's off. Let's light that up. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting like a, a fire being lit. And you do have fire here with the tarantula. So let's get into your energy here with the tarantula. The tarantula, wow, at a crossroads. I promise you I was not reading this. <laughs> I'm just getting all of that off of your nine. All right. The tarantula is at a crossroads, claiming life's purpose. The tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or dharma. A habit or routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream. Yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers, patient and calm, like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you'll choose wisely. All right, so um, when in balance, the tarantula follows intuition. When out of balance, the tarantula hesitates, over-intellectualizes, so over-stimulated, um, a lot going on in the mind. To bring into balance, daily journaling, all right, so journaling, writing things down, is how you will bring yourself back into balance if you resonate with the fact that you may be out of balance, like hesitating when it comes to something and or over analyzing something, over intellectualizing something, um, feeling overstimulated mentally. Journaling is what's going to help you to revert, okay? 
to get back on track because what the tarantula is telling you here today, group two, is that you may have gotten sidetracked or you're getting sidetracked when it comes to your purpose, your dreams. And so your intuition is redirecting you and pushing you to refocus your attention on what's the goal at hand. Like, where are we heading? What is it that we want to get? Remember why you started something or remember why you want to get somewhere. Um, so yeah, it's giving like, um, confirmation on my watch. Somebody's name could be Mo, but it's giving basically like distraction. Like you were on your way or you have been doing something and right before you could complete a task, a goal, or get to that destination, um, reach what it is you've been trying to obtaining, you get sidetracked. Um, and this could be a distraction with the overstimulation with the mind. All right. So if you guys resonate with that, definitely get yourself a notebook if you haven't already, if you don't already have one, and start journaling. You could do this at night before you go to bed, or you could do this first thing in the morning when you wake up, before you start your day, but or in the middle of the day, wherever, you, whenever or wherever you could find some time to like journal things down, like write things down, what you're going through, what you're feeling. I do feel like, um, especially with that nine energy, like right now, it's all about you. Like you're on this solo journey and you're figuring something out. It could be very exciting, but also very intimidating. All right, so let's go. Holy Spirit, please come through and talk to me. What is the message that group two is meant to hear right now? Thank you. The sun is setting right now at this time. The sun is setting early. They they turn the clock backs here in the U.S. Um, did they turn it forward or back? Yeah, they turned it back one hour. I don't know how that works, where it gets dark so soon. But anyway, <laughs> there's that. I'm picking that up. All right, a change in time, a change in um, scenery. Okay. We have the Six of Cups. All right. So I'm getting you nostalgic. We have the justice card, Libra. We have the Hierophant here. Okay. All right, so Libra and Taurus coming out the strongest right now. All right, we have the Knights of Pentacles. And there's a clock there. And I did mention, like, the changing of the clocks. Okay. And then we have the Emperor, Aries. A lot of major arcana energy here in your reading. All right, well, we got at the back of the deck. We have the moon, more major arcana, and that is Pisces. Okay, so what I'm getting right now, and we're going to clarify this, is that you're very nostalgic in regards to a past situation or a past way of being. There's something about your childhood or something about your past that you are reminiscing about because you have good memories attached to the past. And there could also be other reasons why you're looking back. I'm going to clarify that, all right? But I do see you looking back. And what the universe wants to tell you right now, especially with the Hierophant here and Justice and the Emperor, take things slow, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow energy. He's on like a regardless of sex, he's on like a treadmill or an Olympical or like a bike, a, a cycling bike. All right. So the gym could be significant. If you're looking to get some sort of results, whether that's lose weight, gain weight, or just build muscle, um, or in general, like with your health, like you're trying to get better health, a better diet, the universe is saying, take it easy with yourself, not just with that, with bettering your health, but also with life. Okay. Things are going to be moving very slowly, but with reason, with all this major arcana, all right? You may have a lot of questions as to why, like, why are things moving so slowly? Or like, you know, why am I still thinking about the past? Um, We're going to talk about that a little deeper right now. Um, With this moon, there's a lot of mystery, okay? So you could be having like very vivid dreams, lucid dreams. Um, I do see you leveling up here big time. So there's justice coming in. Some sort of fairness is giving like a judgment where something happened in the past. Um, judgment is being served and it's giving that 
you are walking away clean from a situation, one, and two, you are actually getting your good karma, your dharma, okay? And you're learning a lesson. And that's where all these questions are coming from. You may be looking for keys to like open up a door or to change your reality or change some sort of circumstances. You may be like trying to figure out something at this time. Maybe you're doing homework. Maybe you're really trying to understand something. I'm getting that. Take it easy. Okay. Especially with the overstimulating energy with the tarantula. Um, your angels, your guides are like right above you, hovering right above you, watching you and basically giving you like a hug at this time where they're like, babe, take it easy. Everything is going to be okay. There's no need to rush. There's no need to worry. Take it easy one day at a time. Kind of like when you work out, right? You're not going to get results immediately. You start seeing results probably a month, two months, three months, or even six months down the line. You know, you just have to keep that faith that this is going to work. I'm doing the right thing. So it's, it has to work, you know? And so by continuing some sort of program, whether that has to do with fitness or not, you know, just continuing to do the right thing because the Hierophant is our teacher. It's like the Pope of tarot in a sense. So you're being guided by source. You're being guided by a higher being at this time. And what this higher being wants you to know is that you're good. You're good, especially when it comes to like a past matter and that something is taking time to come in. But it's worth it with the emperor energy here. So I'm getting a contract. Some of you guys could be either entering a new contract for business, or this could be a contract for marriage, or this could be a contract for a house, a car, take it how it resonates. There is a level up here. There is a contract that you're meant to enter and it's going to help you level up. You don't get it tomorrow. You're not going to get it in a month. I could tell you that, but it is definitely coming within two to three months around that time frame. By the time we're like ending winter or in the middle of winter, you're going to get some sort of opportunity to level up. As of right now, you're learning a lesson. You're learning to understand something from your past. All right, so let's let's clarify that. All right, what, why is the Six of Cups here? Okay, we have judgment. Yo, I cannot. Do you see that? All right. Do, 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 do. So a lot of fingers are being pointed with this judgment is in regards to a past situation. So you could be pointing the finger at someone. They pointing the finger back like you point the finger at someone and they're just like five fingers pointing back at you. There's this judgment energy here in regards to your past. I'm getting you woke up to a situation. This could be connected to your childhood. This could be connected to a past relationship or a past connection. Take it how it resonates for you, group two. But I definitely see there's something about your past that woke you up. What we have here, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was a betrayal. All right, so this could have been a relationship ending abruptly. This could have been someone very close to you, a friend or a family member, a colleague, basically putting the knife in your back, unfortunately. And I'm so sorry about that group two. You did not deserve that, but it was meant to be a wake up call for you. So I'm getting you being rudely awakened in the past in regards to, um, someone very close to you or someone around you, um, hurting you with the ten of swords. That's like rock bottom energy. That's betrayal energy. That's like, um, you know, overkill in a sense, like you didn't need to do that, you know, but a part of you felt it before it came. And when it happened, it was your angels that woke you up basically. Like however you figured something out, it was your angels that wanted you to figure it out because your angels did not want you to be in this energy, this 10 of swords energy for much longer. Okay. Maybe somebody's an artist, a tattoo could be significant. Um, matching tattoos or um, something of that nature. Clarify justice. We have the six of pentacles. All right. So your justice in regards to this situation that you experienced in your past, we have the four of pentacles. Yeah. It has to do with your stability. It has to do with your finances. So maybe this betrayal from your past, there was ties to money because I'm getting, you're being blessed with money. And that's the justice in regards to you basically waking up and realizing and moving in a new direction in a sense, even though your mind is still thinking about that moment. These are like basically moments that we could never forget, you know, because it 
impacts us. We feel it deep in our bones. We feel it in our deep core, our soul, you know, like, wow. Like I could never forget that day. Like how, like is when like something unexpected happens, but you just would have never imagined someone possibly acting that way or treating you that way. You know, so I'm getting you still thinking about it with the Six of Cups here is because the Six of Cups, it talks about nostalgia. It talks about you looking back or you thinking back at the good times. But then judgment being under it is like, but I woke up from that. It's as if you were in a situation or a part of something that seemed too good to be true or seemed really good. And then you would really awaken like, wow, really? Who, <laughs> you know? is giving dodging bullets, but your angels were heavily involved. So that there is giving me divine intervention. Mm -hmm. And with justice and the six of pentacles, your angels want you to know that your good karma, your dharma, your justice for this situation, how you're being, um, not that you need to be compensated for what you went through, but the universe wants to help you out. Because the Six of Pentacles is about the universe blessing you with some financial opportunities or with like a lucky win, more money, unexpected more money. And it comes in a way you never expected or you don't expect to receive it. And it's because you've been so charitable to others. You have helped others in like little ways or big ways in the past. You are a very good person. And this is why you're getting blessed with some money, okay? This is why your, your stability, your foundation is going to be rock solid. I'm getting you like putting money away, saving money, confirmation on my watch. All right, so with this extra money you're going to get, I, I'm, I'm seeing you like saving it. Like, all right, I'm going to save that money. I'm putting it away. But I'm getting you helping. This could be helping the elderly. This could be helping the homeless. This could be helping friends or family members that are in a tough situation or customers, colleagues, however it goes. Like, I'm getting you've been very charitable to others. And this is your good karma coming back. That's what the angels want you to know. Mm hmm. All right. Clarify the hierophant. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah. What you're learning about in this experience, this major lesson in your life. You're learning about stability. You're learning about foundation. You're learning about your finances. Um, and then we have the Eight of Swords here. There's some sort of fear when it comes to your finances, all right? Um, what I'm getting is that because the Eight of Swords is an illusion, right? So there's some sort of illusion that you're stuck or that you're not going to be able to overcome some sort of um, foundation situation. Maybe you feel at this time, because the Four of Pentacles, it also speaks about somebody that is holding on to their coins a little bit too tight because they don't know when's the next time they're going to get a little bit of extra money. Confirmation on my watch. All right. So it's giving like you're learning how to save money and you're also learning not to be so, I don't know if this is a word, chivalrous. I don't even know what that means. Let's Google it. Hold up. Oh, hold on. Chivalrous. What does that mean? Um, Chivalrous. Curious, especially towards women, used of a man or his behavior. Typically used of a man. Relating to the historical notion of chivalry. Courteous. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I heard that word. All right. Um, yeah, but there's fears here. Um, maybe you was fearing that you were going to lose a foundation or you were going to lose your stabilities or your savings. And that's what you're learning out of some sort of experience in your past. I feel like it's strongly connected to your home. It's connected to your foundation, your savings, your money. And, um, there's a little fear about that, but what your guides and the universe wants you to know is that the key is you, you are the key. Those low vibrational thoughts or fearful thoughts are not real. They could feel so freaking real. Trust me, I know. I felt them myself, right? So I could relate where sometimes our thoughts could get the best of us and fear could creep in and kind of take over. But you have to fight back and basically calm yourself, do breathing techniques, um, meditate, you know, journal. Like that was your advice here today, group two, to journal whenever you're overwhelmed or stressed in regards to your finances and your stability. You're being blessed with more money. So you don't have to be so tight with money. And that's what you're learning. You're learning not to be so tight with your funds and to know that 
abundance is infinite for you, group two. Like, you really don't have to worry. If you have a lack mentality, then you're going to just create lack, right? But if you have an abundant mentality where you're like, um, you know what? Let me take that trip. I'll, I'll make up for it or I'll be able to get the funds in order to replace whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll be good. And then you take that trip and at the end of the day, you're good, you know? Versus, no, let me save that money just in case. Let me save this just in case. And I'm not telling you to spend your sev your savings either. But the universe wants you to loosen up a little bit when it comes to your savings. Like, save money, but don't be so tight with your money. But overall, I see you learning a lesson when it comes to your money. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're learning to save money. But not be tight with money, if that makes sense. <laughs> we have the fool. All right, so in the next two to three months, you have a brand spanking new beginning. All right, for those who are connecting with that fitness message or with that diet message, I see you guys, confirmation on my watch. I see you guys looking extremely brand new. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see you looking extremely brand new in the next two to three months. Take it easy right now. Give yourself grace, okay? Be patient. You know, losing, gaining, it takes time, all right? But just keep at it. Just keep doing something. And don't expect results right away because then you're going to stress yourself out. Just keep doing it because you know it's good for your mind. It's good for your health. Don't do it with the idea of the results and getting those results right away. But keep at it, all right? I'm getting something new here, and there's keys, all right? So this could be a new home. This could be um, a new vehicle. But I definitely see you taking a leap of faith in the next two to three months. And then we have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. Can you clarify this Emperor with the King of Cups? The Seven of Swords. Hmm. Can you give me one more? The Page of Cups. Okay. Some of you guys are same sex, not all. The Two of Wands. All right. That's for some, not all, right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I'm getting, a, for a lot of you, group two, you're going to have options, okay? I'm getting Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting you're going to have options, and you're going to keep these options to yourself, okay? Um, I'm getting one of these options you have a contract with. The other one is very healing. Um, I see you keeping this close to your heart and to yourself. Maybe you're like, Jalissa, I'm not the type to juggle. I'm not that third party type of person. Okay, but I see it. <laughs> All right, I do see it here. And um, give me one more for this. The Eight of Swords. All right, yeah. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, so, okay. I'm getting, don't overwhelm yourself. You're going to have options. If you're, let's say if you're single, right, group two, you could shop. Just don't engage, if you know what I mean. Like, don't intertwine your energies with multiple people because that's not good. Um, But do you, right? Use your own intuition and discernment. But I'm getting here, it's okay to shop, but don't interact like, don't, you know what I mean, engage with multiple people because this could mess with your aura, your energy, and also your mind with the seven of swords and the eight of swords. This is basically like someone holding it back and needing to keep up with the lies. Like, all right, let's say you're dating one person or you're committed to one person, but then you're also talking to this other person. And I'm not here to judge. I'm a reader. All right. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Take it how it resonates. All right. So I'm getting two people. One you're more committed to, the other one you're, it, they make you feel good. So there's a connection there too. And it's as if you want to juggle or you want to weigh things out. And that's okay as long as you're not intimately being, um, you know, you're not being intimate with both, right? Because then that will be bad for your aura is what I'm getting. And also for your mind, your mental health, because I do see like fear, anxiety, and like that stuck energy. Like, all right. So I lied to this one about Tuesday. I lied to this one also about Tuesday, but what did I tell this one? And what did I tell that one? You know, don't put too much on your plate. Don't chew more than you can swallow. Cause you will choke. Um, 
I am getting that you should definitely use art, creativity as a tool or an outlet to channel your fears or anxiety or um, any challenge, any challenges you may have mentally. All right. But I do see like friendship here. So this doesn't have to be like, oh, you got a boo over here and then you have like another side boo over here. This could just be a friend you end up catching feelings for. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a ve very interesting aspect to this because I'm getting um, you're going to lie to both of these two people about each other. And also there's going to be white lies. And so you're being warned to not do this because it will um, end up messing with your mental health overall. And if it goes there, an outlet, again, is journaling, drawing, painting for you, okay? So let's go a little deeper, <laughs> my little player players, okay? Let's keep going. What else group two needs to hear? Thank you. All right, we have Saturn in the fifth house. Okay, so we got our teacher here, another teacher, because the higher fits the teacher. We have Moon in the sixth house, Virgo. Leo and Venus in the seventh house It's crazy because it does go Virgo, Leo, Libra. And that's exactly how it came out for you. All right. Back at the deck, we have Venus in the eighth house. Yo, no lie. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. That's exactly how it goes in the calendar. And that's exactly how it came out for you. So I feel like that is significant. I'm getting like a domino effect. Like one thing happens and then another thing happens. So what I'm getting for you, group two, with Saturn in the fifth house, this is basically you learning how to become your own inner authority. This is you basically standing on business, putting your feet firm on the ground. There could have been times where you wanted to say certain things or you wanted to express yourself about like either a situation or a person or whatever. And you held back what you wanted to express because of judgment or because of people. And so I'm getting there's a shift happening here. You have been restricting yourself from having fun because there's a part of you that group two feels guilty like you may feel guilty, like, all right, well, if I go out, my kids, or if I go out, you know, my, my boo, or if I go out, my mom, my dad, like there's something here. Like there's a reason why you may feel guilty going out and having fun or having a good time. Maybe because you feel like other people are not having a good time. So like, you know, if other people are going through something, you don't want to be like smiling and laughing and having a good time in their face because then it kind of comes off as disrespect. But y'all going to resonate differently with that one, but I'm definitely getting you over here feeling guilty for having a good time. And the universe wants you to shift that energy. You should not feel guilty for having a good time. You should not dim your light for others because they're blind. Just get them some sunglasses and call it a day. Like, listen, boo, this is my light. I'm not dimming for nobody. All right, so I see you becoming your own inner authority, okay? You're identifying and align with your inner values to express who you are as an individual okay so you're being asked to look for structures that harmonize with these values and with the moon in the sixth house um you're emotionally predictable people kind of know all right maybe this is like your face expressions or maybe this is like um there's something about you maybe it's the way like your body gestures or something but you're emotionally predictable and so i'm getting you like really focused and i'm getting you like in tune with your intuition and there's some sort of situation that you're trying to find a solution for moving forward and i'm getting it's affecting you is affecting your health Mm hmm. So this could be your stability again or this lesson you're learning. Um, there's something that is like emotionally affecting you and then it's physically affecting you where it's hitting your health. And for what I could see here, this could be mental health, but it doesn't have to be. All right. Because I'm seeing a bottle, a prescription here, pills. So that's going to be for some. And if it's not that, it could just be like a little cold or you feeling fatigued or you feeling drained. You know, these are other ways that our emotional body well, our emotions can also affect our physical body. Um, you care for others and maybe a little part of you group two knows that you may care a little bit too much to the point where you actually end up getting infected by that person's energy or however it goes. That's what I'm getting here. So you're being guided to be aware of your health. Okay. You're very skilled with your hands. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm getting you just having a difficult time with like finding balance with your health, work, and also your ability to serve others. This could be like you taking care of a parent, you taking care of your kids, you taking care of a spouse, or you taking care of yourself and others at the same time. Like I just see you finding it as a challenge moving forward. Yeah, you just have to find a routine. Like find a routine that works out for you. Like if you feel, if you have to be there for others, find a routine that works out. Like all right, I'm gonna lock or I'm gonna block out this window for A, B, and C for my mom, for my kids, for my um spouse, however it goes, for my cousin, for my whatever. You know, I'm gonna block this window out for them, and I'm gonna be able to serve them during that time, whether that's food, whether that's attention, whether that's literally helping them with some sort of medical need. Like you know, I'm gonna block out these two hours or this one hour to be for others, and then I'm gonna block out time for myself so there's some sort of routine that you need to schedule that can balance out your world where you won't feel guilty for having a good time and also you won't feel guilty for focusing on yourself because i'm getting like other people affecting your health because they're affecting your emotions this is you feeling guilty or feeling um feeling like either shame or overwhelmed because of other people around you with venus in the seventh house and venus in the eighth house i'm getting a partner here mm -hmm. so i'm getting two partners actually <laughs> and here we go with the options all right hey ain't nothing wrong with having options all right but just don't play with both you know if you shopping just you know get to know the person but do not get intimate that's remember that's the key thing here today anywho I see one person here. This person could do mu music. A guitar could be significant, but this one partner here is ideal for you. They're commit. They're committal. They love crazy. They're a peacekeeper. They're a peacemaker. They're an enjoyable person. They rarely argue. They're extremely supported. Um, supportive. Um, very balanced person. When they love, they are overly attached, meaning they'll really be there for you. Um, they're not the type to rock the boat or to like ruffle feathers. Sometimes they even may overcompensate or compromise so that they don't rub you the wrong way so that you guys won't argue. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I see that. And then I see someone over here. This is more of a sexual relationship where there's an intense partner over here. This person consumes their lovers. They eat them up. <laughs> this is very deep, but this is a very generous person, very seductive person, romantic person. This person hides their vulnerability. So they're tough. Um, there, this is definitely this could be also a very meaningful relationship, but this person loves drama. So it's kind of like night and day. Okay. Um, even though they love drama, they could be classy. Um, they could also be very totally devoted, but they're very secretive. Um, so when it comes to the one, the first one I mentioned, <laughs> this one is kind of like a little bit of, um, respectfully, they allow people to take advantage of them. And we call that a pushover, a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. So make sure that whoever you choose out of these two, that you choose the one that fits you best. All right. Um, mm -hmm. This person has been taken advantage of the first one. And they're just looking for a relationship that works, you know. They just want something that's going to work, like something that, you know, brings them happiness and they could bring happiness to that person. Now, the second person, they don't fall in love easily, but when they do, they're all in. And so there's going to be this connection between y'all. Mm -hmm. They're deep like the ocean and they love to penetrate or vice versa. They're fully committed when they're in a relationship. And I'm getting like these two in love with you regardless of sex, female or male. I'm getting Asian descent. I'm getting Caucasian. I'm also getting African-American and I'm also getting Latin, all right? Um, or like Greek, Greek, Greece. <laughs> all right, so there's that group too. Now let's go to your charms and see what else the universe wants to tell you, okay? So shout out to your options. <laughs> there's people out here struggling. They don't even have one option. You're over here with two. Don't be greedy, group two, okay? <laughs> Pick what you want and leave the rest for everybody else. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to your extended. 
Well, actually, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go there. <laughs> but I'm going to give you a preview basically right now. I got ahead of myself. I'm going to give you a preview of your extended. And this is optional. This is on you if you want to join. The link will be in the description as well as in the comments for you. It's very affordable. All right, so what is the extended going to be about for group two? Thank you so much, Spirit. Bless. We have death here. So there is massive change up ahead. Okay. Um, for those who resonate with someone passing um, recently or in the past, I just want to say my condolences. Uh-huh. You are a unicorn. We have the seven of pentacles here. I'm getting you are a unicorn, group two. You are. At heart, you're a unicorn. And I'm getting you're transforming. I'm getting an investment here as well. Like I'm getting you being patient with an investment. It's kind of like when you're baking, right? And I would know about this. I don't, I'm not really like a kitchen lover, guys. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not really a fan. I'd be up in there though. I like to bake better than cook. But anyway, I'd be up in there because my son has to eat. But like, <laughs> um, you know, temperature and time is so important when you're using the oven and or uh, 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 what is it called? The air fryer. You got to be patient, right? Especially when you're making cookies or when you're making a cake or something like that. You got to be patient. You got to let it just do its magic and sit back. You can't rush the process or you're going to mess up the goodies. So I'm getting you being patient and like t and like kind of like checking the temperature in a sense to see if something's done. We have the eight of cups here. Okay. I'm getting you cleaning something up over here emotionally. Like there's an emotional cleanup happening. Whoa. Yeah, because you're changing. All right, we have here, that's crazy because all these cards are upright and you've seen that. It was flipped in reverse. This is the five of cups in reverse. Wow. Let me see it. That's a mess. It's giving like a party and things got out of hand. All right, but with the five of cups in reverse, all right, something could have gotten out of hand. Um, A third party situation could be significant, maybe even a party. But I'm getting like you moving on. Yeah, you're walking away and moving on from a past situation. Due to a new investment. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I see you changing with death. Scorpio. And we have the high priestess here, Pisces. You're keeping it a secret. You're secretly changing. Yeah, yeah, like I saw with the fitness and the diet. You're secretly changing. Like, people are not going to see it until, like, the progress starts kicking in. But I see you being patient. And this is just in general. I'm just saying that was the reference in your reading. But I see you have a connection with the divine. You do. And I'm getting you getting like downloads information from source, from the universe, from the divine. And I'm seeing you changing tremendously. And what you're getting as these messages come in is to be patient, that something's cooking and to get rid of the garbage and move on. Yeah. And then we have the emperor here again. So this is one of the energies, regardless of sex, Aries, this is one of the energies that came through when it came to like your options. So we're going to talk about the, f the main option I saw for you. Um, and we're going to get into that. Maybe your other option will come out too, but this is what we're going to discuss this ego death, this big change you're making, you becoming the unicorn, this investment, this patient, this baggage you're throwing out, you, how you're moving on from something and what messages the universe is also giving you aside from all that, that you're keeping very close to your heart. All right, so this is the extended. The link will be in the description as well as the comments. And honey, it is a super affordable. All right, now I'm going to get your charms. And honey, this gets really loud. So if you are sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now, okay? Holy Spirit, what are the charms for group two? charms hurt me <laughs> they're like oh you want charms Bleak. it poked me no lie um <laughs> all right what are the initials for group two all right let's zoom in guys so we could see this together okay so first middle last initial this could be yours there somebody else's take it how it resonates we have w f h q z v z S I B 
Someone could be bi, bisexual. All right. K M O L L N X A O G. Oh, you an O G group too? Ow. You're an original. All right. O O O J. Hmm. G G. Maybe somebody loves Gucci. We have S V or V S. Victoria's Secret. All right, somebody could be in like fashion or, you know, because with the Gucci, the Victoria's Secret, um, maybe somebody even has like, I'm seeing a mink, okay? I'm getting Facebook too. Um, I'm hearing LGBT for some, not all, okay? I'm also getting Google. Like maybe you're doing something on Google. All right, let's keep going. We have here, this is the Hard Cafe. Um, it's a, like a margarita, like a chocolate margarita. Maybe somebody likes that. All right. The hard rock. Somebody could like to go to the casino. All right. We have here money block. Okay. So you may feel like your money has been blocked. We have here the eight of cups in reverse. So I'm getting like, honestly, what I'm getting with this, I'm getting somebody wants to try again with you because they money blocked. I don't know. This could be like a colleague that wants to work with you again because their money's blocked, their path is blocked. This could be somebody that um hurt you, wants to come back around because their money's blocked. All right. So be careful with somebody coming back around. Their intentions are not pure. And I'm getting it's because of money. Like their money is blocked. That's what I keep hearing. All right. So we have here, what we have here? We have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands. Hold up. What's this? We have the letter G. Hold up. Flip, baby. We have the Ace of Swords. But is it in reverse or is it upright? I don't know. It's very important. Um, oh, yeah, it's, up, it's in reverse. All right, so I'm getting somebody lying about their plans. And I see them scared. All right, so, yeah, so this person, that's, there's someone coming back around. It's because their money's blocked. And I see them lying about their plans or intentions, and I see them scared. You're going to figure it out. But I see, like, you're not scared. Okay. Um, we have here Dose & Co. Collagen Creamer. Vanilla. I don't know. Maybe this is, like, a cream or something for the face. Maybe somebody uses this. Collagen. What's this? We have... Oh, the cat in the hat. Kids could be significant. Maybe somebody loves the cat in the hat, Dr. Seuss. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll put that money there. With the crescent moon, somebody could have like a crescent moon tattoo. Or um, the crescent moon is significant with your energy. We have here, what is this? A uh, chocolate latte. All right, Starbucks. Could someone like that? More money, more money. I'm hearing um, Kai, that, that streamer. Give me my money. Give me my money. All right, so maybe somebody owes you money. <laughs> okay, Um, we have evil eye. You're protected. You're being protected. We have Christmas. All right, so a lot coming in around Christmas. Yeah, I'm getting somebody trying to catch you around Christmas. You know, around Christmas, people need money, so be careful. And then we have, um, what is this? Gryffindor? Gryffindor from Harry Potter. Maybe someone likes Gryffindor or Harry Potter. Okay, and then we have hot dogs. A barbecue could be significant. What's this? Um, I don't know. It's just a ball. Beads. Maybe somebody does beads. Um, basketball's here. Baseball's here. Maybe somebody plays or loves to watch basketball, baseball. We have here Hong Kong. All right, the duck. <laughs> it's reminding me of Baby Girl. There's this YouTuber that has a duck called Baby Girl. All right, but I'm getting like road rage. Be careful. Somebody could have like a little car. Or like a two-door car. We have PlayStation here. Somebody could love PlayStation. We have water here. You need to drink more water. And then it says here, storms don't last forever with the rainbow. All right? So you went through a storm, but that does not last forever. We have an eyelash here. So I'm getting eyelashes. <laughs> oh, and this is... I forgot what her name is. She's a character from Inside Out. Let me see what her name is. She has the big eyes. Yeah inside out too all right so she is hold up she's envy okay yeah 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 i went to amazon for it hold up what in the world i'm just trying to zoom in you see it 
she's envy all right so um i don't know somebody envies you like somebody looks at you with big eyes like wow group two wow i want that purse or i want that car or i want that hair i don't know there's something about you that opens up somebody's eyes but we have the repellent here it says idiot repellent repel that whoever is envying you they repel that okay yeah we have also here um deadpool with the heart okay so maybe somebody loves deadpool I'm getting, like, somebody over here in love with you, all right, wearing a mask. <laughs> we have Pepsi. Someone could love Pepsi. We also have Corona Extra beer. Um, Let me see what else. We have It's a Boy. Uh, maybe you're going to a gender reveal. Maybe you're pregnant or somebody's pregnant. I'm getting It's a Boy. All right. What do we, what do we got here? We have the King of Pentacles here. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A father could be significant. A boss. All right, we have Fanta, the orange one. Maybe someone loves that. We have a cork. I'm getting wine, more basketball. Somebody could be Dominican. All right, we have here 2022. That year could be significant. One peso. The number one could be significant. We have an airplane. So I definitely see you going somewhere. This could be for business or for leisure. Someone will always love you. Okay, group two, we have two pacifiers, same color. Twins could be significant or two boys could be significant. I'm getting shots being fired over here. And then we have a ghost. So I'm getting somebody's like in your energy, like a ghost. All right, so maybe you ghosted them or they ghosted you, but I'm getting them watching you. Yeah, I'm getting pastries. Somebody could work with tools or it could be a mechanic. Okay, I'm getting something being repaired, more basketball. With the cow here, I'm getting abundance coming in. Something's very lucrative. Um, maybe somebody lives near a farm. We have a crescent moon here, another one. All right, so I'm getting a lot of moons. <laughs> More pastries, juicy juice, apple juice. Um, we have volleyball here. And then we have here, what is this? 1664, Blanco, beer. Somebody could like that. And more shots fired. All right, so I'm getting a lot of shots being fired. As far as the money goes, what we have? We have 50. We have 500, so 550. We have another 50, so that's 600, 700. Um, what is this? 720, 740, um, 790. 790 could be significant for somebody, too. Okay. 75 all right that's what i got for you babes now let me give you your advice and then we're going into your juicy extended reading all right so what is the advice for group two thank you so much spirit bless i'm hearing oh i just can't wait to be king maybe you have dreams to be like um a boss or to or to run an empire or to take on some sort of lead role okay Embrace your alone time. Learn to love your own company instead of expecting someone else to make you happy. This is like not as easy as it sounds, but once you like, once you have a hold of this where you love your own company, I mean, I love my own company. Actually, I think I love it a little bit too much. <laughs> I have to learn how to love company. <laughs> That's how much I started loving myself um, so much. Um, yeah, but it is hard for those who are used to being around so many people or used to like getting love from others and then being alone or isolated and having to love on yourself. So embrace your alone time right now, group two, and learn to love yourself more because you're about to level up. Okay. Start small, start today, just start the sky's the limit for you. All right. Yeah, I heard that. And I just can't wait to be king. With the sacral chakra here, it's out of balance. All right, so you may want to hear some meditation music that targets the sacral chakra in order to bring that back into balance. Because when it's out of whack, for what I know, it messes with your confidence, all right? With your willpower. And then we have books here. Read. The more you read, the more you'll learn. Okay, so pick up a book, boo-boo, or pick up more books. 
<laughs> all right guys i love you so much now we're gonna go to this extended and see what this is all about because that's a whole nother reading if you guys want to meet me there the link is in the description as well as in the comments but if this is where we're parting ways i just want to say thank you so much for being here today group two make sure to subscribe hit that bell button let me know how you felt in the comments i really appreciate that i'm sending y'all so much love light and everything nice Mwah. deuces bless hello there how are you doing group three if you chose the fox then you are at your reading bless the fox is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn so you may have that in your chart bless all right i'm gonna use my protection mist to protect us here today this is an extra layer of protection now let's get it let's go holy spirit talk to me what is the angel number for group three 203 all right so 203 is your angel number when you have a chance go to your search engine put in 203 angel number meaning and bam there goes your first message from spirit babe that is giving us the numerology number five. All right, so May could be significant. Um, Leo could be significant. I'm getting that through adversity, through trials and tribulations, you become the best version of yourself. I'm also getting you guys are very good looking because fives are always like models, influencers, um, really good looking, like even if you're not a model like you give off like you're photogenic you know you're very good looking like your eye candy is what i'm getting and the fox is also eye candy foxes are very good looking all right you know when they tell someone you find as a fox you know like they're talking about the fox because the fox has good features all right so i'm getting you look like a fox <laughs> is that even how no the fox is <laughs> Yeah, I was a fox for Halloween, so I had to look up the noise that fox makes. So when I go to, like, the events I was going to, I was able to, like, sound like the fox whenever someone pulled my tail or whatever. And they make a noise like, eh, some shit like that. <laughs> anyway, let's read up about your fox energy. The fox is smart, it's a strong partner or mate, and is a wise teacher. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things interesting oop exciting sorry fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us when this card appears reconnect to those you love foxes don't do well when they slip away all right so if you've been isolated or far from those that you love you may want to reconnect with those that you love and if you can't be near them at least talk to them you know because i'm getting your lone wolf but you also need to connect with your pack because you are part of a pack whether that's a tribe um your friends your family members a community a society okay when in balance, magical, ingenious, teacher, monogamous. When out of balance, sneaky, unsure of their identity. To bring into balance, partnership, connection. All right, so you need partnership, whether that's business partnership, friendship, or love relationship. You need to have a partner. Um, that is going to be essential for your life. Group three is what I'm getting doesn't have to be a romantic a romantic partner but one person you need one person in your life that could be there that you could lean on or that you could talk to or that you could rely on because that's going to be really important for you to for you to maintain balance in your life all right so it's important for you to connect with people your connections are very important group three okay so that's your message today now let's see what the universe wants to tell you here today why were you brought here let's see 
All right. Aside from the fact that you needed a little bit of gas and I'm here, I'm the gas station. OK, I'm going to fill you up <laughs> so you could run for miles and miles and miles and be good. <laughs> All right. So you are amazing. You're a good. You're a good looking person. You're charming. You're charismatic. All right. Um, you're very charming. That's what I'm getting with this energy. Very good looking. You're a looker. All right, you make people turn their necks. Like, oh, wait, who was that? That's group three. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, talk to me. What is the message for group he group three here with me today? <laughs> you make people nervous, too, because I'm getting, like, really hot. All right, what's the message for group three? Thank you. All right, we have the Empress, man, and isn't the Empress gorgeous? Okay, so regardless of sex, because here we do energy. This is a feminine energy, but we all have feminine energy, men included. All right, so take it how it resonates. But I'm getting here that you're birthing something new. So for some of you guys, this could be a new member to the family. For others of you guys, this is you birthing a new life because babies do symbolize new life, okay? Wow, so I'm getting you attracting a blessing here with the Queen of Wands, okay? Very interesting. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? And the Empress is Libra and Taurus. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So, hold on. Let me just get your full message out here. Some of you guys could be same sex. Does not have to be. All right, that's for some, not all. We have the death here, Scorpio. Scorpio has been coming out crazy. I mean, we are in Scorpio season as I'm recording this reading, even though my readings are timeless, but Scorpio energy is present today. All right. And then we have the six of swords. Okay. You're going somewhere and it's giving me international vibes. Okay. It doesn't have to be international. It could be domestic, but I'm definitely getting you going somewhere. Um, back of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so there's some sadness here. First, let me tell you the surface energy, then we're going to clarify. So there's some sort of sadness, like something didn't work out. I'm getting like a third-party situation. So this could be a situation involving more than two people or um, two people, however it goes. Like I'm getting like um, you disappointed. Like you're disappointed that something didn't go the way you may have thought it would go or some way, something didn't end up being how you expected it to be. There is disappointment here, like something breaks apart, but you still have two cups because the, fi the five of cups speaks about three cups spilling and two cups standing up. All right. So I'm getting like those that have been removed from your life or those that have left your life. And for some, this could be due to like like physically leaving this world and for that i'm so sorry my condolences you know there was a divine purpose for this is what your guys want you to know okay divine timing was on the table and so whether that was due to you losing a very close person to you again my condolences and or losing a friend or losing a lover or losing a partnership of whatever kind a family member like something that fell apart was meant to fall apart in order for you to connect with someone else and it won't be messy because I'm getting like a messy situation and I'm getting you like in your feelings about it but it leads you to like so much change in your life and I see you here with somebody so this could be a friend or this could be a practitioner or a healer someone you're connecting with but there is someone here and I'm getting like this person helping you in one way or another to manifest abundance to also help you manifest big change in your life all right so this is someone that could either make a candle for you <laughs> maybe me <laughs> just saying or this could be somebody that um guides you like a, a coach um or a friend that's very um familiar with alchemy but i'm definitely getting somebody here working with you or helping you when it comes to you gaining more fruits more stability more money also gaining a very passive income here like i'm getting money coming in effortlessly i'm getting a big change in your life and i also see you traveling this could be again um this could be for leisure for business and or a change in scenery but i'm getting your guides here guiding you somewhere or to go somewhere like you're taking a flight whether that's domestic or international all right can you clarify this empress 
the ace of pentacles wow so what you're manifesting here what you're birthing is a new opportunity with the ace of pentacles this is the beginning of something new this could be a new job this could be a new purchase like you purchasing a home especially if you're expecting but take it how it resonates right um but i'm getting a big purchase here five of cups it comes it's as if like yeah because i'm getting a channeled energy here like i'm getting you sad but i'm getting you alchemizing that energy and creating life through sadness so through sadness through pain through disappointment you create a new avenue for yourself with this ace of pentacles you create a new opportunity for yourself i'm getting new money coming in i'm getting um new opportunities like a contract a very lucrative contract i'm getting mountains so some of you guys could be going around like a river mountains um or like a countryside um clarify this queen of wands we have the wheel of fortune. Yeah, like I'm getting like your fortune changing. Um whatever alchemy or prayer or manifestation um tool that you're using to alchemize this change is giving like a quantum leap. It's giving like um a shift in your reality. Sunflowers could be significant. I'm getting like a detour here. Um divine intervention but it's faded like a destiny with the knight of swords something's happening quick all right i'm getting a bird could be significant too i'm seeing the three of swords and i'm also seeing the five of cups so i'm getting like you hurt but through pain through adversity didn't i say that earlier like you creating something through pain but anywho, I'm seeing it here where you're manifesting new life. You're attracting new life. You're attracting new opportunities. You're attracting a lot of money towards you. And you're doing this in a very magical way. Like prayer is magical. Um, rituals are magical. Candles are magical. It depends on like what you subscribe to, right? But I am seeing a candle here. But I do see your destiny changing. Your faith is changing. You are an alchemist. So you don't really need tools. Tools just help amplify your blessings or help amplify like the time that you receive these blessings with the knight of swords here i'm getting it happens fast um there could be like some sort of boycott going on around this time or um people could be like like i'm getting like roads being closed because people are like confirmation on my phone like people are boycotting a probably a, a company or this could be activists like people like um fighting for some sort of rights i'm getting like a road closed because of that like you going somewhere but then you get rerouted and it's magic yeah i'm getting magic at play like a detour that leads you to an a to a very abundant opportunity so you have a new opportunity coming up and money's involved and i'm getting you attracting all of this because the empress sits pretty and just attracts all of the blessings the empress is a fertile energy the empress births things kind of like out of thin air magic like alchemy so i'm getting you birthing new opportunities new life and i'm getting divine timing here with the wheel of fortune sagittarius jupiter so you're expanding your life is expanding and you alchemize this you did clarify this nine of pentacles so i'm getting a lot of money here with the lovers gemini okay so very interesting very very interesting because the lovers is showing three people so I'm not really getting like a romantic vibe off of this lover's card. Usually the lover is the lovers is usually a decision that needs to be made and it's usually not always connected to something romantic, right? But I'm getting a decision will have to be made in regards to like entrepreneurship or in regards to finances because I'm getting a lot of money here. This could be like a side hustle. This could be your own business or this could be you like venturing off to multiple avenues to make money. But I'm getting passive income. Jewelry could be significant. Photography could be significant. I'm getting like a collaboration and i never get that with the lovers so it's going to be on you whether you want to collaborate with these people but i'm getting you working with these people and making bank all right because the nine of pentacles it talks about good money okay passive income so i'm getting a change here and it, with the wheel of fortune here this is divine intervention so you're gonna meet the right people 
and you're going to connect and network to bring this opportunity towards you with the ace of pentacles yeah like you coming together with people working with people gemini um communicating with people and making money you could be creating something or offering some sort of service or helping somebody with their business or something um in one way or another modeling photography um social media because i'm getting a lot of cameras here and then we have photographs over here so you're gonna have to make that choice do you want to go on this venture and make this money it's passive income with the ace of swords um somebody could even draw or do art but it's giving an epiphany like you're gonna have this brilliant idea a download to do this to um make this decision to do this business deal or collaborate with people here to make some money and I'm getting it's going to go very well for you. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing online business. So this is something connected to an online business. I'm getting it may start slow, but I'm getting word of mouth with birds. All right. So a lot of communication, word of mouth. You know, this could be like reviews or something, but I'm getting money here. I'm getting um like this connection. Remember, you're, you're meant to be connected with people. You can't be alone for too long. The fox doesn't do very well alone. So I'm getting like you connecting with two other people. And this connection brings in a lot of fortune. And sometimes, depending on like someone's numerology number, life path number, um, birthday, you know, some people are very abundant. And being in certain people's energy definitely brings opportunity so you may just be connecting with the right people with the right potion or with the right formula and it works out because now i'm seeing the powerpuff girls and if you know about the powerpuff girls the dad who is the creator he basically um put all these ingredients into a bowl and created his daughters the triplets the powerpuff girls all right um yeah so i'm getting like the just the right ingredients Okay, so clarify death. Very interesting. All right, with death, we have the high priestess. So you're secretly changing. There's a change happening, and it's giving, like, um, this is on a cellular level. Like, so you're changing internally, like, the way you think, the way you see the world, the way you operate, the way you feel things, your senses, your sensors, you know, it's all changing, confirmation. And then after this um, cellular change happens, your ego is changing. You're stripping the ego and stripping parts of yourself that no longer resonate with you to embrace a new version of you. So you're changing tremendously, group three, and you're keeping it to yourself with the high priestess. You're keeping it private. With the page of swords, I'm getting you sharing something, but you're not sharing your change. You're sharing information or you're sharing some sort of data or you're sharing like something online. Maybe you're joining a podcast or maybe you're creating a podcast or or you're doing something online. You could be doing content. However it goes, like I'm getting you sharing information, um, but you're keeping this private, like your transformation, the changes that you're that you're making and i'm getting like the universe speaking to you giving you clues giving you answers um giving you guidance mm -hmm. so your connection to the universe is changing as well yeah i'm getting like a ancestor around you helping you guiding you holding your hand heavily and it's giving me like a parental figure like a mom a dad a grandma a grandpa a great grandmother a great grandfather like this person's around you and holding your hand heavily like protecting you yeah and um you're a unicorn group three clarify the six of swords over here so i'm getting this trippy trip let's see what's that trip all about we have the six of wands it's about a victory all right so this could be a business trip or this could just be the fact that this trip goes very well because there's an accolade in this image and the six of wands speaks about somebody on their high horse 66 is an omen so i'm getting that you're going to calmer waters you're going to have a victory you may have to travel somewhere in order to receive a, a an accolade an award or to receive something um, but I definitely see overall you will be traveling and you will be on your high horse. I'm getting family. All right. So maybe you're traveling to family. There could be some gift giving or just um, you reconnecting with family members, friends. I'm getting a dinner being um, very important. OK, this could be for the holidays, but I'd see a victory with travel. 
and I see things going very well. I see you like on top of your high horse. Like you're really feeling yourself. You're feeling so loved is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. You're like overwhelmed with love. <laughs> All right. What else does group three need to hear at this time? Holy Spirit, thank you. All right, we have the moon in the sixth house. Virgo. We have Saturn in the fifth house, Leo. You may have came from group two. We have the moon in the first house, Aries. Because there's a little bit of similarities, not really all the way though. Like there's itsy bits is here. And then we have Gemini rising, all right? So some of you guys have strong Gemini placements, Aries, Leo, Virgo. All right, so what I'm getting is that your health is being highlighted here. You're being advised to take care of yourself right now, group three. Okay, so you're the type of person that services others. You could help others. You could be there for others. People could come to you for advice, for guidance, for a shoulder, and or for support like maybe they need you to help them to get to their appointment or maybe they need you to help them when it comes to some sort of dilemma in their life however it goes like people come to you for this because you are a healer for what i can see and you're really good at finding solutions to problems you're extremely intuitive and i see you focused over here on how you can be there for others but also be there for yourself okay confirmation on my watch and um, your body and your health is being highlighted because what I'm seeing is fluctuations in areas like your health, work, and I see you also thinking about people, people that you serve, people that you help, your children, your friends, your family members, however it goes, your colleagues. Um, you're very skilled with your hands, and I'm getting that these mood fluctuations is basically telling you to create a routine, okay? Make a routine, a routine that's going to be good for you. This is basically saying that you're overstimulated or overwhelmed because you're doing too much. And so having a schedule or having boundaries, like, all right, from this time to that time, I'm going to be with X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to help them. And then from this time to this time is me time. Or from this time to that time, I have time for myself. You know, you have to make time for yourself and be there for yourself so that your health doesn't get affected by how much you're giving to others because if you're pouring out of your cup into people's cups that are empty and nobody is pouring into your cup then you end up with an empty cup and everybody ends up with water in their cup so you got to make sure that you fill up your cup and continuously fill up your cup if you're going to be pouring into other people's cups is what the universe is saying and there's something here about prescriptions or medication or something like that that you may be looking into or you may have to look into you're analyzing with saturn in the fifth house saturn is our teacher and you're learning a lesson when it comes to your personality all right you're a very sweet loving person but sometimes people tend to um throw themselves at you and kind of like overpower you in a sense and you're learning how to become your own inner authority you're learning how to stand on business you're learning how to speak up i'm getting that you don't like to rub people the wrong way you don't like to stir the pot you don't like to create waves because you don't want to argue you don't want to deal with the, the the reaction of your actions towards someone else in regards to how you feel so you rather just kind of like not, like you know what i don't really want to do this but i'm going to do it just so they would shut up or just so i don't have to argue with them or explain myself and so you're learning how to stand on business group three you're learning how to shift that how to not block yourself from expressing how you feel you never know how someone is going to take it yeah they may get offended yeah they may be annoyed but guess what you have to express yourself you can't hold that back you can't leave that energy in you you have to release that energy so people know what boundaries um, are set and you're not restricting yourself from having fun because that's what I'm getting like you feeling guilty for having a good time or you feeling guilty for having some fun like no don't feel guilty for having fun we're not here on earth to like be robots we're here to have a good time so if this is friends family children or a spouse however it goes if this is someone here that is making you feel guilty for having fun you need to draw the line and maybe limit your time with this person and see how you could work around this where you could still have fun and not feel guilty for it you need to have fun you should enjoy your life especially right now because we don't get time back right um so i'm getting you like a little bit consumed with the expectations of others like 
people expecting things from you. And so you're identifying and aligning your own inner values and how you're going to express who you are as an individual. It's like you're reintroducing yourself to people. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is Hove. Oh, <laughs> all right. So I'm, I'm getting you like structuring things because you're coming out here as a new version of you and people are going to have to get to know you or get to know this side of you that you've held back from them because you didn't want to explain yourself or express yourself or you didn't want to like ruffle feathers with the moon in the first house um you're a very emotional person and there's things you freely express and then there's things you hold back because you don't want to you know rock the boat and what i'm getting is that the thing is with these type of debates you know it could get real funny and maybe you're protecting yourself too where Someone could say something to you contradicting or not even contradicting, but like, you know, returning what you're saying to them in regards to those boundaries. And then they hit a chord or they hit a trigger and then you take it very personal. And maybe you know yourself where um, words or people's um, delivery could hurt you. Um, so maybe that's why also you don't tend to like express how you truly feel about a person, a situation, or this matter when it comes to you being your own inner authority. Um, don't take it personal, you know? Don't take it personal. If someone says something or does something and it triggers you, you know what? That's their perspective. It could be a projection. It is what it is. You are the only one that can give value to a situation, a thought, or a feeling. Only you could give it value. So if you don't care, it doesn't matter, you know? So basically spirit is saying to water down how you feel about certain people's opinions or how certain people may trigger you. Like try to water that down where it doesn't trigger you as much. I'm getting you're a very nurturing person and I'm getting you having these dramatic mood swings because you're becoming a new version of yourself. You're releasing this old version of yourself that would hold back their tongue and you're becoming more vocal you're becoming more blunt not that you weren't blunt but you were you were like censoring certain things you know and filtering certain conversations or things that you really wanted to get off your chest you're very caring overall but i'm getting your emotions rule you sometimes and your reasoning and so we need to like not water it down because emotion is water but we need to like kind of like fire that up you know like evaporate some of that water where we don't let emotions get the best of us you know Mm hmm. You're very honest, too. And you're very gentle. Your energy is like a fresh breath of air. You're very mindful of others because you're very sensitive. I'm getting you here with Gemini rising. I'm getting you becoming more sophisticated. You're very intelligent. You're um, domineering over here where you're like changing the tone. I'm seeing you being very observant. I do see that you're insecure here and there. Sometimes when you really like something, you could be clingy because <laughs> it's not like you really like things like that. Like you're very picky. Um, I do see you being open and extremely talkative. I do see that. Um, <laughs> so I'm seeing you here desiring freedom. Like maybe you feel a little bit stuck or restricted here, especially with the Saturn in the fifth house. So I see you desiring freedom. Mm hmm. I see you desiring travel and to learn more. Yeah. And maybe you're talking about this um, online or you're sharing like some memes or something, some rels. All right. So let's go into your charms really quickly, though. I'm going to show you the extended and this is optional, guys. This is um, very affordable. It's optional again. It's on you whether you want to join me or not. The link will be in the description as well as in the comments, but let's see what it's going to be about. All right, so what is the extended going to be about for group three? What does group three need to hear? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so I'm getting you slowly making progress, especially when it comes to like your fitness, your goals, whether that's losing weight, gaining weight, gaining muscle, whatever it is you're trying to achieve when it comes to your physical appearance, I'm getting um you gradually gaining that or losing that. All right, the four of wands here. Nice. We have the fool here. I'm getting like um in the next couple of weeks to months, there's going to be a new beginning. For some of you guys, this could be with a home. Like I'm getting something new. Like you taking a leap of faith with a home or with your stability. 
the emperor. I'm getting a contract here. Like, you signing a contract. I'm getting you like, fuck it. Let's do it. All right? Hmm. And with the queen of pentacles here. Okay. Yeah, we need to go deep into this. This could even be a business, all right? Because the four of wands doesn't just talk about a relationship or a home. It also talks about an empire uh, coming together, you know? And I'm getting a contract here. So there's a new contract there is um, some sort of new stability here for you. And I see your resources here. You looking healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the next couple of weeks to months. This comes in for you. And I see, I see you saying like, fuck it. <laughs> like, I'm going to do it. Six of swords. Yeah, I'm getting travel. All right. So um, I'm seeing you being guided to do something. And I see you doing it. So we're going to go deep into that. And you're extended. Like, what are you about to leap into? Okay, but I see you in charge. I see you delegating. I see um you're signing a contract. Yeah. And I see like you improving. And it's like your health is improving and your mental health is improving. So physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, there's improvement here. It's gradually happening, but I do see it. And I see you leveling up, like you're bossing up. Mm -hmm. There's a celebration here. This could be like you buying a home or this could be um, a union, a, a marriage. There's a celebration. We're going to get into that, though. This is the extended. So if you're interested, you can meet me there. The link, like I said, is in the description as well as the comments. All right. So let's go to your charms. This gets loud. I'm going to shuffle real good so we don't get the same charms. OK, give me one second. Holy Spirit, what are the charms for group three? Charms for group three. I need a little more because that's kind of like a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not stingy with it, all right? <laughs> okay, initials for group three. All right, let's zoom in so we can see this together. Yes. All right, first, middle, last initial. This could be yours, somebody else's. Take a high resonance. We have the UA, UA, UX, M U O R S A. We have NY, New York, confirmation on my phone. We have OK, H Z, Z A, I L, L I, Long Island, G Z, somebody could be a Gen Z, W N, or have Gen Z kids. M-O-M, -M, mom. Yeah, I'm getting somebody has Gen Z kids. Or somebody's a Gen Z. Take out it resonates. We have P-K, C, U-U-D. Duh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hearing duh. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. You have the protection bracelet. All right, so I give these for free with my orders. So, guys, if you ever order anything from my shop expect a protection bracelet for the free but you're being guided to wear this so if you're already wearing this on your left wrist or your left ankle you're good but if not you're being guided to put it on it's just an extra layer of protection all right it's an evil eye bracelet and then we have chia seed drink somebody could like that basketballs here an amazon package what we have here <laughs> somebody's gonna be ringing on your phone all right they're going to wear a mask. This is Scream. I think his name is Scream. Okay. This is, um, what does he say? I'm hearing the funny version. What's that? <laughs> That's the funny version. But the original movie is, um, like he calls somebody through somebody else's phone. Confirmation on my watch. Um, and he's basically asking her questions and like scaring her. So I don't know. Somebody's going to be playing on your phone. Okay, we have the Six of Wands here. Again, you have the Six of Wands in your reading here, all right? So you're definitely going to be on your high horse. There's a victory on D-Ways. And with the emotion block in reverse, I'm getting you unblocking your heart or opening up your heart. There's someone out here that's envious of you with envy from inside out. 
okay? So I'm getting somebody having big eyes when it comes to you, group three, and there's envy here. Like, oh my gosh, group three has nice shoes or nice clothes or nice car or nice house or whatever. Like, somebody's, like, very envious of you, okay? They want what you got. So appreciate what you got because you got people out here envious. So you must got some good stuff out here, Okay. This could even be envious of your appearance because you're the fox. All right, so we have five, 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 five hundred and fifty-five. Oh, snapples. Okay, so that's major change. Oh, you you could look it up if you want. Five, five, five. Angel number meaning. We have crackers here. So for those who are pregnant, I'm seeing you eating crackers. Or for those who are gonna get pregnant, <laughs> we have orange juice. I think. Oh my God, we got the Powerpuff Girls, and I did mention. The Powerpuff Girls, all right? So, Source made you just right, all right? Um, he used sugar and spice or it because Source isn't a she or he, right? It's an energy. Um, We don't really know, but I say it's an energy. All right, so Source put sugar, spice, and everything nice. Maybe um even put a little bit of jalapeno in there. <laughs> All right, because you spicy. Um, she's the she's the leader of the Powerpuff Girls. I forget her name. I know there's Bubbles, and I forget the rest. Um, but she was the the leader. So you could be a leader. All right. So I'm getting you being the leader. You delegating for sure. Juicy juice, apple juice, somebody could like that. And then we have Pocahontas. All right, so I'm getting, didn't I mention native, did I mention it here? Oh, no, I didn't. That was a different pile. All right, but anyway, some of you guys could be Native American or Indian. You could have like that feature, um, dark, long hair, um, caramel skin tone. Okay, I'm getting like with Pocahontas here, I'm getting a, a, a relationship where, what do they call that? Is it biracial relationship? I don't know. But I'm getting like a relationship between two people from different cultures or ethnicities. Um, with Pocahontas, she was connected with nature, with Mother Nature. So go into Mother Nature. The trees talk to you. The leaves talk to you. I'm getting somebody trying to catch you. What we got here? We have hate your job. Try astral projection. <laughs> I saw this and I started dying. All right. You be astral projecting group three at night when you're sleeping. You be having out of body experiences. This is confirmation. All right. So when you're sleeping, you're not really sleeping. You're like traveling. Mm -hmm. You're a traveler. But it says here, hate your job. Try astral projecting. All right. So maybe you don't hate your job. Maybe some of you guys do. But um, I'm getting like you annoyed with your job. <laughs> All right, you have been elected chairman of the board. Pay each player 50 bucks. Maybe because you're the boss or you're becoming the boss and maybe that's going to be annoying. Maybe you're going to like astral project, like, guys, I need to meditate. And you're like out of there. <laughs> we have The Deal by Ellie. What's that about? I think I looked it up before, but I forgot. Let me see. The Deal... Yeah, Ellie Kennedy. I looked it up six days ago, so that could be significant. Um, the deal, what is it about? Mm -hmm. Hannah Wells has, a, has finally found someone who turns her on, but while she might be confident in every other area of her life, she's carting around a full set of baggage when it comes to sex and seduction all right so i'm getting you facing your intimacy when it comes to a new flare a new flame okay i'm getting like you really into somebody but like you having difficulties possibly opening up maybe due to a past relationship or due to confidence all right take it how it resonates we have mary poppins here okay so i'm getting two kids could be significant a girl and a boy I'm getting a housekeeper or a nanny could be significant. Somebody out here is Mary Poppins. All right, so Mary Poppins, she had a gift. She would pop up when a family needed her and um, when she needed to teach some children, okay? And she did magical tricks like snap her fingers and clean things up. Man, I wish I could be Mary Poppins. <laughs> um, but yeah, she would fly in with her umbrella and shit, like, and then she'll disappear. She basically changes the kids' lives. So I'm getting like, you're kind of like Mary Poppins, you know? where maybe you don't snap your fingers and are able to like change things, but your energy, your wisdom, it does help people change. So I'm getting students or children around you. Some of you guys could work with children. 
That's for some, not all. Maybe this is your children. All right, we have cotton candy here. Um, someone likes cotton candy. And then we have, this came out for all piles, I believe. R Hard Cafe um, Margarita. So some of you guys may have gone to the Hard Cafe, the casino. Um, somebody could like chocolate margaritas. We have tennis here. We have a locker. We have volleyball. So that could be significant with the ladybug. I'm getting good luck coming your way. Mm -hmm. We have the letter A. We have some beer. So someone likes beer. And there's someone that has feelings for you. Like someone loves you, but they're hiding it for whatever reason. All right. So if you feel like somebody's hiding the fact that they love you, they are. All right. Let's see what your advice is. <laughs> Let's see what your advice is. And then we're going to go into your juicy extended reading. All right, what's the advice for a group three? We have new beginnings. That's what I'm talking about, okay? It says, time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. It's in your hands right now to change your story. Let's go. So it's giving like a portal opening. Um, yeah, you have the full here. So we're going to talk about that in your extended, this new beginning. Okay. I see new keys in your hand. I'm getting a little dog. All right. The little things. Find the little things in your everyday life that makes you happy. And one day you'll realize they are the big things. Okay. So listen, that is so true. Sometimes we overlook the little things that make us so happy. And then when we lose it, we like, damn, why didn't I enjoy it a little bit more? All right, look at you leveling up. Start small. Start today. Start. Just start. The sky is the limit for you. Group three, you leveling up financially with your endeavors. And then we have cook more. Reduce the urge to eat out and cook more meals at home. I mean, I could understand if some of you guys don't like to. But we must grow. <laughs> I'm talking we, I'm talking about we because I don't really like the kitchen like that. I'm going to be honest. Like, I like to bake, but I don't really like to cook. Um, I guess because, I don't know, I could make candles all day. I could make cookies and cakes all day. But when it comes to cooking, it's just a different energy. But anyway, spirit wants you to cook more. <laughs> bless all right guys i'm going to the extended where we're going to go deep into your new beginning and we're going to talk a lot more about other things that are going on around that but the sense of your reading is this new beginning so we're definitely going to go deep into that um i love you guys so much guys let me know how you felt in the comments if you haven't already do subscribe hit that bell button all right i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys if not in the extended the next one okay Deuces, bless.